This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. You guys ready? Yeah. For sure? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do it on the count of three, two, one, okay? Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh my goodness, guys, we are back. Very happy to see all of you guys. How are you guys doing today? If you're feeling real, let me know on Instagram at the real ray ray20 that you guys are feeling real and part of the real family. I'm having a good day so far. It is beautiful outside. The sun starts to set seriously so early today. It's like 10 in the morning. The sun, I'm just kidding, it's not 10 in the morning. We're at the mall really, really quick today. I bought a pair of checkerboard vans the other day. I say the other day, like three, four weeks ago. Jeez, hopefully I can still return. I hope it wasn't a month since I bought them. Anyway, when I bought them, they didn't have a size 12, and like I, I settled on a size 11 and a half, which I shouldn't have done, and they're a little bit too tight. I tried them on at home, and like it, it's not happening, so we're returning them. Did your whites work in the 11 and a half or? What's that? The, the white ones were good? Oh, I drew all over them. So, uh, oh, okay. So. For, uh, I made a YouTube video drawing all over them. Ah. <laughs> so I can't exactly return those. Nah. Oh, no, okay. Not the, uh, have this one? No. Sorry, have a good one. Success. So if you guys watched yesterday's video, you know that we got a brand new sneaker store in downtown Winnipeg. It's really dope livestock. They have a couple locations in Toronto. I think that one in Vancouver, maybe two in Vancouver. And now of all places, they are in Winnipeg. We were there yesterday, me and Rich, checking out some of the shoes, saying what's up to the guys that are working there. They seem like pretty cool dudes. And they had a pair of shoes that I just, I need to pick up. I'm crazy, I buy a lot of shoes, we know this, but I'm not crazy enough to buy two pairs of shoes in the same day, and I bought a pair of shoes yesterday. This is incredibly unsafe, oh my goodness, don't try it. Please wait for the walk signal if you're watching this video. Back in livestock, I just asked if they have the size and the pair of shoes that I wanted to get. They do, so we're gonna scoop them, which is awesome. Lots of you guys are asking where it is. It's on Graham downtown, right where Urban Bakery used to be. So if you're in Winnipeg, you definitely know where it is. But like, look at all this stuff that they have. Like, we don't get these types of Prestos sitting at Foot Locker. We don't get like these cool Air Max Zeros sitting at Foot Locker. We definitely don't get, and it's, it's probably good that we don't get these sitting at Foot Locker. What is this pair of sh I don't even wanna know what this is. Well, what is the purchasing demographic for these? I'm a little bit confused. Like. Who buys these? The one thing I will have to say about livestock, the Jordan 1 selection, a little bit lacking. We only have these, these, and these. These are the only ones I would wear out of them. I have, I've had this pair for over a year probably. I still haven't worn mine. I don't know, it's just sort of plain white bottom, black, 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 black. I wear the white perforated pair all the time. I love those things, but these ones, eh. Not, not my favorite. Cool grade twelves. Are these? I feel like these are still sitting on most shelves, huh? Or did they sell out? I honestly, I don't pay enough attention when I go to sneaker stores and check out the Jordan section. It's all just the same stuff sitting. And then these are really cool. Nike's been pushing the Air Max 97 so much this year, releasing the Silver Bullet, the Gold Medals, the Skepta collab, the the Gucci looking undefeated collab, which by the way is really really nice. These are pretty clean too. So looking at two fifty nine and ninety cents, man. Okay. Okay. box cool? Yeah, that's cool. There you go, man. Thank you very much. Thanks, Have a good man. one. Okay, right now I'm over at Matt's work, the golf course or the driving range where he works at. And have a little bit of a surprise for him. If you guys remember a few weeks ago, or a few days ago actually, at the Nike outlet, they had a certain pair of shoes for really, really cheap. Well, it's a pair of shoes I thought Matt might enjoy, so I scooped him up a pair. He doesn't know this is happening at all, so we're gonna surprise him with a pair of shoes. The only problem is this is in a UNC color, and Matt is like the biggest Duke fan I know, so we're gonna see what happens here. What's up, Matt? Hey, Matt. I got a new pair of shoes today. Very good. What is it today? Ooh. Ooh. Well, what we got here? A little classic. I know what this is. Do you know what it is? I do know what it is. You're a big Duke fan, so. It's a great shoe. The color leaves something to be desired. No, the color is the best part, isn't it? If I'm wearing Air Force Ones, I'm wearing all white, but... But these ones are really nice. They are very nice. Like I said, I prefer I prefer my, my Air Forces, like, this the block coloring. Okay. Of, like, of, like the, the one colored ones, 
I want to say I like have been there's mar white maroon ones, right? Yes, like that. those are really nice. Those ones I really like. But other than that, I don't know. I just like the I like just a nice pair of white Air Forces. These are these are nice though. Uh huh. So check the size. I saw the size. Yeah, they're yours if you want. Okay. Or there's a gift receipt in there. If you're not feeling UNC enough. I think this is a shoe that if you had like black accents. Really? I think so. Like it just, I'm like, trying to picture that right it'd now. Be, it'd be different. Like it'd be black laces, black swoosh, black midsole. Black laces, black swoosh, black midsole. Because then that goes back to like how I designed cars. That looks like really early 2000s. But I think that looks like really you need Janko jeans <laughs> and a snap. I don't know. It's just, it's just different. You officially, if you get me hooked on this. I will probably get you. I'm going to blame you. Where do I go to get in the good league? What do I want? So it's done by entry fee. The Champions League 1K quarter juice yeah, box? That's, that's like the 25 cent rules. My grandpa's phoning me. What? You might pop up for the goal. Yeah, I'm just online gambling right now. I'm just online gambling right now. So you're looking for a goalie that's going to get a lot of shots against them. Or you're taking a goalie that you know is going to get a clean sheet. Oh, for Marcelo. I bought another pair of shoes today as well. Did you hear I'm doing a Winnipeg meetup? I did hear about that. It's either September 30th or October 7th at Friday nights. Okay, yeah, so I was a livestock. I was gonna buy this pair of shoes online, but then, I, I don't know, like with shoes online, I never wanna actually buy them because it's like, oh, they don't get here for another week. Yeah. And I just, the I, moment's ne gone. I never get around to buying them. I'm like, oh, I'll buy them tomorrow. I'll buy them tomorrow. But then livestock showed up. And they actually have a really, really, they actually have a really good selection on some of the shoes. So I was surprised to see these. And then when I saw them, I was like, I'm 100% buying them. Do you know what these are? I have a guess. What do you think they are? Boost Stan, Stan Smiths. Boost Stan Smiths. He thinks I would wear Boost Stan Smiths. Is that an EQT? It's an EQT with Boost. This, this is the most comfortable Boost sneaker. Like this is actually the most comfortable Boost sneaker. I have the pink pair. Okay. With like pink up top and then the boost. They're so freaking comfortable because first off there's like more boost than... There seems to be a hefty amount of boost. And then also, the insole on these. Feel the insole. It's like memory foam. Like it feels yeah, like a mattress. Pretty it's pretty good. Oh, yeah. I can dig it. Yeah, right? I can definitely dig it. Now the only thing about these is it's not primed. It's like this mesh stuff, right? Kind of Roshi Run-esque. Roshi Run. Roshi Run. Who remembers the Roshi, the Roshi Run hype was real? Like you think real. Boost is hyped up? If you're not into sneakers in 2012 to 2014, how real was the Roshi Run hype? You couldn't go anywhere without seeing at least 10 kids yeah. wearing Roshi Runs. Because they were $70, right? Like now I think they're 80, maybe even $85. They were $70. They made a whole bunch of dope colors. And it was the first like streamlined running Esque you, shoe. Had, you, you had people wearing them all the time with like the tight joggers. Like yeah, it was, was like, when joggers were really in style, like khaki joggers and a pair of Roshi runs. Yeah. You were cool. Now you just need Supreme. I like the mesh better. I think it just has more rigidity and is sturdier. Black, white, like how freaking simple are these? Yeah. Oh, cool. Look, it's actually Ortholite. Like it is Ortholite brand insoles. Yeah. The more you know. I really, 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 what I'm trying to say is I really like these. What do you guys think? Actually, you know what? I have the pink pair as well. I'm gonna go grab the pink pair and we're gonna do a little bit of a comparison on these. All right, so I have now got the pink pair right here. Now the pink pair, I don't know if it's tagged any differently. EQT support 9317 and then the mesh pair is tagged as EQT support 9317. So they're the exact same shoe on the tag, but then you'll notice the difference is that this is, I'm not sure if this is actually prime knit or like their knit mesh or whatever they're calling it, but it's, it's stretchy and it's a lot more malleable. I'll take out the paper, like you can move it a lot more. It stretches and moves with your foot a whole bunch. Whereas the black pair right here, you take the paper out of the black pair. By the way, I tried these on, these are so freaking comfortable. The black pair is a lot more firm. It does not move as much. It keeps its shape a lot more, but which one do you prefer out of these? I know lots of people hate this pair of shoes. Lots of people were like ragging on me when I bought them. I don't understand why people hate these. I think this is beautiful. I get the pattern might not be some people's cup of tea, but in terms of the colorway, this thing is freaking amazing. Haven't had a chance to wear these yet. I've worn them around the house though, and they are great. Then this pair right here, I'll definitely be wearing more often just because it's black, right? Like pink is awesome, but pink is sort of hard to wear sometimes. 
if you guys have ever had a pink pair of sneakers, you know, even if you love it, you can't wear it every single day. And it needs to be that that certain kind of day where you're feeling in a pink shoe kind of mood. But this is this is awesome. I'm really, really excited to have all this or have all this, have these finally. And also, all you guys that watched yesterday's video, I just want to thank you guys for the support and you guys being awesome people. Whether you agree with what I said or disagree with what I said, there's a whole bunch of people who agreed with me respectfully, a whole bunch of people who disagreed with me respectfully. Then there were some people who started being like rude and stuff, which we don't want that. But it, all you guys that kept it real on yesterday's video, I really do appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. That being said, though, what do you guys think of my new pickup? Is it good? Is it bad? Did I waste my money? They're expensive. They're 230 Canadian dollars. And I know this color went on sale in the States. These things do not go on sale in Canada. Like, good luck getting these on sale in Canada. Good freaking luck. But I'm very happy to have this colorway in my collection. I know this is a GR. It's nothing limited. It's nothing special. It's nothing that's going to have any sort of resale value in the future. But this is something I really wanted to get in my collection. And it's all about buy what you like, right? Like, this is a model that I like a lot more than the Ultra Boost. I think they create cool cooler looking colorways and it's a more comfortable shoe so now i have two pairs of them i'm really excited about that thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate you and until tomorrow